Hello and welcome to Lua Lesson 5. In this lesson we're going to be covering logical operators. Uh, before I get into them and tell you sort of what they do, we're just going to cover what they are. So the main two are AND and OR. And you do these by simply typing AND for AND and OR for OR. It's pretty simple. Huh? So um, to show you how they work, I'm going to show you OR first. We're just going to set up a simple IF statement. So let's just say um, var1 equals, in fact that's not imaginative, let's make up something, credit card equals this random number, and then pin equals, there we go. So we have a credit card and a pin, and let's just say if pin equals equals, because it's conditional operator, 7, 3, 8, 5, oh, there we go, then print access uh, allowed, end. So that's fine if we only want to check the pin, but you don't go into something and only type in your pin and it goes, oh, okay, you've purchased the item. Uh, so we want to check the credit card number and the pin. Okay, change your mind, we're going to do AND first now. So if pin is this AND, so you just type AND after the first um, condition, you know what I mean. Um, and then you do your second. So if credit card equals equals, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So it's going to say if the pin is equal to what we've decided, and if the credit card number is, then access allowed, and then we can just say else access denied. Okay, so we've got credit card, pin number, and if they're both as they are, um, then it's going to say access allowed, otherwise it's going to say access denied. So let's just try and output this, it says access allowed, we just change the pin number just by one letter from 5 to 6. Access denied. If we put this back to 5 and then change the credit card number. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, clearly it doesn't check this many values. There we go, access denied. You know, more or less. Obviously, um, there's obviously something in Lua about that, I didn't actually know. Uh, clearly it doesn't check the whole chain of numbers, but you got the idea. So it would have said access denied, as it did here, when I've changed the number completely. Okay, so that's AND, it's pretty simple, it just does as logic says, AND. But what if we want to do ALL? Uh, let's change it around a bit. Say, rank equals 5, it's going to be our top rank in our thing, or GM equals 1. So, or true, let's make it true, let's use a, a bool. So, rank is 5, GM is true. So, the person we're making up here for this game, I've just made up, um, they have a rank of 5 and they're a GM, so they're, they're pretty lucky in this game. So, if rank equals equals 5, so if they have a rank of 5, then print, should have copied it from before, access allowed, else print access denied. So end. There we go. So. This is just going to check if they have a rank of 5, and since this guy does have a rank of 5, it's going to go, okay, access allowed. And he's a GM, so we want GMs to be able to access this special area as well. So we just go, or, GM equals equals true. So if you have a rank of 5, because you deserve to be able to go into this place if you have a rank of 5, or if you're a GM, because they can go everywhere, um, then you're at access allowed. So let's just change this guy's rank. He's actually a rank of one, but he's a GM, so he's allowed in. So we run it. It says access allowed. Let's just make him a rank of five. Now he isn't a GM. Access allowed. 
because he has a rank of five. But if he has a rank of one and he's not a GM, then access denied. This is pretty much the basics of logical operators and or and and. You know, have a play around with them, say it again and again and again. It's great fun. You know, do a couple of if statements with them, maybe try it with a bit of user input. Um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.